Glioblastoma is a cancer that starts in the brain and it has no cure. Most patients survive about 15 months, even with every form of conventional treatment. But one man says he was fortunate to find a way to survive. Now his goal is to help others do the same. Inside this freezer at UCLA is a brain tumor sample belonging to 40-year-old Bob Gibbs. He was diagnosed with a lethal form of brain cancer called glioblastoma. From tissue like this, researchers created an experimental vaccine designed to keep Bob's cancer cells from growing back. He was diagnosed in 2004. Had I not had the vaccine and went with standard of care, I don't believe I'd be here today. The way we're approaching it is, is actually taking the patient's actual tumor tissue and generating the vaccine from that. UCLA neurosurgeon Dr. Linda Liao says glioblastomas affect 20,000 Americans every year. It's the same type of cancer that plagues Senator Ted Kennedy. You want to try to really focus in on the tumor area with a margin without damaging any of the surrounding tissues. Doctors say patients diagnosed with glioblastoma survive about a year and a half to two years, and that's with surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. We can't get to every little tumor cell. So, uh, so that's what makes these tumors uh, difficult to treat, and, and that's why they tend to come back. With Dr. Liao's vaccine, the survival rate is much longer. 40% of patients survive three years, and 5% survive six years. That's where Bob Gibbs is. He is a six-year survivor, and he's working hard to make sure there are more patients like him. He and his wife started the group Miles for Hope. His sole goal is to raise money for research like Dr. Liao's vaccine and to spread awareness and hope. We think we're making a difference, absolutely, you know, by uh, promoting the vaccine, by raising awareness of the vaccine and the disease and uh, promoting treatments out there. Researchers say the cause of this type of cancer is genetic, but other theories include cell phone use and carcinogens found in processed meats. Symptoms of this type of cancer are headaches, seizures, paralysis, and vision changes.